discretion is advised. Alright guys, we are back again with another white girl-itis. It's, it's sad. If you haven't watched the last one, I'll explain it again for the people in the back. White girl-itis is affecting a lot of us out here in 2021. It's the real pandemic. Nobody's talking about it. The news is not talking about it. And we need to get the word out. So please use the donation link in the description and send me my <laughs> Keeping in theme, we have another TikTok. TikTok is literally the worst thing to ever happen to our society, and it will be the downfall. Much like the debauchery and degeneracy of Rome, it is TikTok that will take us down in the end. So let's play this. This is only the second time I've heard this, but the first time, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> so here we go. Let's play. How is eating meat racist? I'll gladly tell you. Looks like we've got an oppressor on our hands. Meaty dude, you eating bacon? You're a fucking slave owner. <laughs> My favorite thing too is that she says it so quietly because she's in the fucking she's in a bathroom somewhere in her parents' house and she's like, I don't know. Let's go. Let's sit. Hey, hey, you whitey, I see you. Sit down and listen. Listen to this white girl tell you eating meat is racist. Sit down and shut up. Listen. Open them ears. Be an ally. Here we go. So, during slavery times, slaves did not get to eat the same things as their masters. They got the scraps that no one wanted. Chitterlings. Now, that black people have overcome slavery, they developed a rich barbecue culture to make up for all the meat eating that they lost out on. Hey, hey, real quick here. Fried chicken. What is the difference between saying black people only eat barbecue and black people only eat fried chicken. There's n there's a there's a thin line that doesn't exist because it's the same thing. All black people they they developed a rich barbecue culture. Ah! I just love that this girl thinks that she could totally say all black people have the right to do the the domain of of barbecue foods is just it's just black people and you cannot eat that brisket, damn it. And you buy a piece of meat as a white person, you are actively taking away a piece of meat that could be being enjoyed by a survivor of ancestral slavery. So you you believe going into a store and just, you know, peruse in the store, you see some meat on the shelf, you pick it up, you're actively taking it out of the hands of Jamal. Jamal can't eat brisket, damn it, because you and your white fingers done came in and stole the brisket off the shelf on purpose. Okay, how about this? Sit down, girl. Where do you come up with these ideas? Who told you this? Who told you this? Who indoctrinated you, girl? I'm sorry, you need to sit down. And you know what? Take your own advice and just- Shut the fuck up. You ain't saving nobody with this. Nobody is getting saved with this TikTok. You're good. Okay, nobody needs it. Go ahead and, and sit down and eat your kale or your your broccoli, whatever the fuck you eat, because you feel that white people can't eat meat. Dude, the gymnastics that you have to go through to be one of these cult members, it's insane. Eating meat is not only racist, but it's also anti-Semitic. What? During the Holocaust, Jews did not get to eat meat in labor camps. What? They ate potato soup, which would spill on their bodies, burning them and giving them infections. <laughs> no! No! A lot of bad stuff happened in the in the Holocaust. Why are you specifying burns from potato soup? Like on the list of bad shit that happened in the Holocaust, I think burns from potato soup is fucking at the bottom. Okay? How do you think you're saying anything of worth? Potato soup burn. <laughs> potato soup. You can't eat fucking meat. Don't get to eat meat. Or potatoes. No meat and potatoes. Those are my two favorite things. And I can't eat both of them because I'm racist and anti-Semitic. Now, Jew survivors eat a lot of meat. Brisket. Just let them have that. Stop appropriating everything. Stop appropriating everything. How about you stop making everything appropriation? What are you talking about brisket? Okay, let me tell you a little bit about some barbecue. Barbecue is a South thing. A Southern food. You can find it in every one of these states down in, in the South. Do you know why you assume that black people exclusively own the, the rights to, to barbecue? A lot of black people live in the South. They're part of the culture. They're part of 
America. You see, they're not two different things. It's not white people and black people. It's the American people like to eat barbecue. You, little girl, you think that black people aren't the same as you. That's why you feel like you need to go out and say, white people don't eat meat because it's racist because black people like barbecue. No, 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 no. Americans like barbecue. Stop separating black people from white people. Stop separating black people from Americans. Black people are Americans. Stop the separation. You are the one that's racist. You're segregating black people out, out of white people. No, just stop, girl. I know you're naive. I know you're young. I'm sure you got some friends uh, that are telling you some garbage. Or maybe you're just watching the news. It could be that you're watching the news. You're watching other TikToks that are just fucking your brain up. You contracted white girlitis, and I really want you to watch this video and get cured. Get cured from your white girlitis. You are the racist. You probably have good intentions as a, as a young kid or adult. I don't know what ambiguous age, but you're doing more harm than good. In, in fact, you're doing zero with this. This separates people. Shut up and stop it. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that shit. I'll see you later. Ah!